Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. We have a Patreon poll pick today, and it is movies that made actors famous. Here's the deal. They didn't tell me who the person was they were talking about. <laughs> Their pick was Pretty Woman, but... They didn't tell me who it made famous, so I have no idea who this made famous. <laughs> I'm just going to have to guess. <laughs> I think I set myself up for failure because I'm the one that comes up with these, like, genre or, like, you know. So I kind of set myself up for failure on this one. <laughs> I figured that out after I'd already posted it. I was like, how am I supposed to know who got famous because of this? <laughs> It could be anybody. It could be, you know, I don't know, the cabbie. I don't know. It could be, it could be like, my wife tells me about these crazy stories about people who had like little tiny roles in things in life. And that made them famous because of some, just the way they said a line or something that she said. What well, I think, what was it came up? It was, um, oh, oh, the Friends, the brother that had the triplets in Friends had, like, this bit line on on Friends, and it's early on in the Friends, I don't know if you know Friends or not, I'm sorry, it's early on in the whole Friends, uh, you know, 10 years, but, like, he, Phoebe's playing outside, and he runs back, and he says, hey, do you, I think I put a condom in your guitar case. And then he grabs it and he's like, hey, I got it, and runs off. That was it. He, that was his, supposed to be his only role in the entire show. And they loved him so much from that one scene that he turns into like a recurring character where he's her brother in the end, she has his triplets, and like <laughs> he's marrying the teacher. And like that, none of that existed at all. <laughs> They made it up for him because he forgot his condom in her in her guitar case. That's the only reason that whole entire part of Friends exists is because of that. <laughs> That's crazy to me how this world works. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to it. Movies that <laughs> made actors famous. How am I supposed to know? Who made this famous? <laughs> you guys are going to have to let me know <laughs> down below. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be like a cabbie or something. It's going to be like some person in a cab or who knows. <laughs> it's going to crack me up. I don't know. Some guy walking down the road that yells something mean to people. I don't know. <laughs> it's just random stuff. Anyways, I am so sorry. If you don't know the backstory on me, we're way be <laughs> we're way past that, right? Uh, my name is James. I'm an ex-Iowa farmer who grew up in the middle of nowhere and only had three channels on my TV. But we just, we didn't watch it. And so I became a massive bookworm and have been for over 30 years. My oldest children convinced me to dive into pop culture and start watching all these awesome U.S. movies. So that's the backstory. <laughs> so we're caught up now. <laughs> You'll get a lot of laughter on this channel. If you're not laughing by now, <laughs> you're missing your funny bone. <laughs> I got extras you can have. <laughs> like, like, let me pull a rib out and here you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't forget, I've got a second channel, Awesome Shows, and uh, my Patreon's out there, all the full reactions, exclusive content over there. We have a lot of fun over there sometimes like this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I've said that too much. Let's get into it and watch Pretty Woman. That intro just cracked me up. <laughs> if you didn't watch the intro, she'd go back. <laughs> it was funny. It's all about money. You've got it all. And we've got uh -huh. nothing. But I wouldn't trust you with real gold. That's why this one's only worth about a penny. Yeah, a little sleight of hand. 
Have you seen Edward? No, I haven't. Great party, Philip. I know that guy, the short one. Oh, oh, he is from Friends that I just got done talking about in the intro. He is the toner ink guy. <laughs> that nobody would talk to him in the office. I have my own life too, you know, Edward. Maybe I should just move out. If that's what you want, yes. All right, when you get back to New York, we'll discuss. Now is as good a time as any. That's fine with me, Edward. Goodbye. Wow. So, hold on. Who is this woman? It's not a beck and call thing. It's a party. You're supposed to be there with your man at your party. I gotta get to New York by Sunday. I got tickets to the men. Yes, sir. Oh, we're not in New York. Susan, I heard you got married. Well, when you and I were dating, did you speak to my secretary more than you spoke to me? She was one of my bridesmaids. Oh. oh. Holy crap. That's saying something. I'm a little excited. Don't drive my car. Let me work something out. Edward, uh... Are you familiar with a stick shift? Have you uh, yeah. driven a shift? With a don't, it's a new car. Oh. Don't, uh, okay, I can do it. It's just don't... He's driving it. Beverly Hills is down the hill. We're in LA. It's a nice car. I have no clue what it is. I haven't seen it before. Richard Gear. I know the name. Julia Roberts. I know the name. Pretty woman. I have heard mention of this movie. Like in other movies because like you think you're some pretty woman or something like that everybody's rent. now give me the money or you're ready uh oh rent collection oh that's a good place to hide it oh yep <laughs> we're going out the window this was before gps kids detective albertson what do you know about that girl oh it's hank azaria Excuse me, what, what are you, from the press? No, no, we're from Orlando. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, my God! I got tourists <laughs> photographing the body out. <laughs> yeah, cops aren't quite doing their job. Uh, Hank was so good in, um, oh, gosh, what was the Robin Williams? The birdcage, birdcage. He was so funny in that. Yeah, Is it all gone? I can't believe you bought drugs with our rent. What is going on with you, kid? I needed a little pick me up. Oh, oh God. Snap. Yeah, well, I have to live there too, oh. kid. She's Look, taking all. Th here. I gave you some money. I gave you a place to stay. Takes the cherries. Grabs it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get some of that. I just saw a girl pulled out of a dumpster. It was a crackhead. Dominic was trying to straighten her out for months. Did Dominic kill her? It's looking really slow tonight. <laughs> To get a pimp, you know, Carlos really digs you. Oh, uh, no. We run our lives and take our money. Yes, that's exactly their job. Oh, yo, oh, yo, catch this. You should go for him. You look hot tonight. Okay, so we are a prostitute. Work it, baby, work it. That is an outfit there, wow. I want to find Beverly Hills. Can you give me directions? For five bucks. Five bucks? Okay, that's not bad. Can't charge me for directions. I can do anything I want to, baby. Yeah. I ain't lost. I ain't lost. <laughs> Five bucks isn't bad. For twenty, I'll show you personal down the street, like right. Oh. Uh, Lights would be good. You find here. first. What's your name? What do you want it to be? Your name. Uh, okay, Vivian. Vivian. Doesn't it blow your mind? This is only four cylinders. But it's a dual overhead cam, probably. So how is it you know so little about cars? My first car was a limousine. Mmm. Okay, old money. It's heavy metal. Oh. You're not shifting right. This is a standard H. Standard H. Have you ever driven a Lotus? No. You're gonna start right now. Let her drive. I bet she has no problem. There you go. Good for you, girl. <laughs> it's pedals like a race car. They're really close together. Look at her flip that gear. Did you see that? What kind of money you girls make these days? Can't take less than $100 for an hour. An hour? For an hour, yeah. Pretty stiff. Well, oh. No. Ah. It's got potential. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. So you'll be all right? Yeah, I'm going to. Come back to your office. <laughs> yeah. She's got a great smile. Did you really say $100 an hour? Yeah. I'd be very pleased if you would accompany me into the hotel. Yep. Yeah. Give her your coat. Why don't you put this on? This hotel is not the kind of establishment that rents rooms. Wow. Uh-huh. 
They like spending money on their interiors. I've been in Stop a couple of those hotels to go to the, just to, like, use the restroom. Because <laughs> I can't afford them. Uh, Just send up some champagne and strawberries, please. Well, color me happy. There's a sofa in here for two. Oh, nope. He's not allowed to go inside. <laughs> Did you see her holding him back? Close your mouth, dear. <laughs> Penthouse. Yeah, huh? He's got money. Holy crap. Was there a dining room table and a terrace? Why don't you go out there? I'm afraid of heights. But you're on the top floor. Yeah. Now that you have me here, what are you going to do with me? I hadn't exactly planned this. I would say I was um a kind of fly by the seat of my pants gal, you know, moment to moment. That's me. As I hope to God that's a wig. Mm -hmm. I hate the hair. I assume cash is acceptable. Cash works for me. All right. Let's get one of these I, on I, you. No, I, why don't we just talk for a little bit, okay? Yeah, let's slow things down. Makes you think I'm a lawyer. You've got that um, sharp, useless look about you. Oh, sharp and useless? Thanks. That's nice of you. You should try a strawberry. It brings out the flavor in the champagne. Oh, groovy. Is that true? Does it bring out the flavor of the don't, champagne? Don't you drink? No. Oh, it's just for her. I appreciate this whole seduction scene you've got going, but let me give you a tip. I'm a sure thing, okay? So, I'm on an hourly rate. Could we just move along? Somehow I'm sensing that this time problem is a major issue with you. How much for the entire night? Oh, there you go. <sighs> you couldn't afford it. Um, I think he can. $300. Done. Yeah. <laughs> That's nothing to him. It's a paper clip. What is? What do you have in uh... I do not want any drugs here. I don't do drugs, all right? I, I stopped doing drugs when I was 14. What is this? What is this? It's floss. <laughs> I had all those strawberry seeds. You should <laughs> neglect your gums. <laughs> I love her. Are you going to watch? No, I'm good. It's just that uh, very few people surprise me. Most of them shock the hell out of me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's got a great smile. What are we doing? What do you want? What do you do? Everything. But I don't kiss on the mouth. Neither do I. You don't kiss on the mouth? I understand her perspective and not yours. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, it was a wig. Oh, lovely. Much better. Workaholic. He wants to meet you face to face. Dinner. Set it up. Oh, Edward, Edward, I look, it's really not a good idea that you see him. Definitely not alone. Oh, by the way, Phil, about your car. Corners <laughs> like it's on rails. What? <laughs> he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Well, good morning. There, oh, love the new hair better. Oh, my God. I'm going to be out of here in just a minute. No, there's no hurry. Took the liberty of ordering everything on the menu. I didn't. Wow. Oh, Dave. Yeah, sure. Did you sleep? Uh, yes, a little on the couch. You don't sleep. You don't do drugs. You don't drink. What do you do, Edward? There are four other chairs here. She's trying to be close to you. So, what do you do? I buy companies that are in financial difficulty. Yeah, oh, yeah, and tears them apart. The company I'm buying this week, I'm getting for the bargain price of about one billion. A billion dollars? Yes. Yeah, huh? How far did you go in school? I went all the way. You have your the master's? Folks must or... be really proud, huh? <laughs> so what do you do with the companies once you buy them? I sell them. Don't sell the whole company. I break it up in pieces. And... Like um, stealing cars and selling them for the parts, right? Actually, yes, exactly. Not bad at all. Where did you learn to do that? Well, we were the debate team in high school. No, <laughs> I had a grandpa. He was nice to me. <laughs> I like her first answer. Look, I gotta say this again. I don't like you going alone. You know? well, I just think it'd be better if you, uh -oh. if you went with a date. You know? If what you want to impress me. That's a huge tub. You know a lot of nice girls. Oh, you don't. Kiss. Besides, I already have one. Oh, he has a date. Vivian, I have a business proposition for you. I'm going to be in town until Sunday. I'd like you to spend the week with me. A week? Would you consider spending the week with me? 
and I will pay you to be at my beck and call. Oh, beck and call girl. If you're talking 24 hours a day, it's going to cost you. Of course. Oh, yeah. here we go. Negotiate. 4,000. 2,000. 3,000. Done. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll be gone most of the day. I want you to buy some clothes. We may be going out evenings. You'll need something to wear. Boring. Elegant. Yes, elegant. Baby, I'm going to treat you so nice. You're never going to want to let me go. 3,000 for six days. And Vivian, I will let you go. But I'm here now. You make the most, the best of your opportunities. Right? Make the most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Back when we used telephones. Hello. I called and called. Where were you last night? Ma? It's Viv. Ma? Oh, man. Are you ready for this? I am in his hotel room in Beverly Hills, the penthouse. His bathroom is bigger than the blue banana. What is the blue banana? I am bummed I gave that guy to you. Did he give you the money yet? Well, he gave me 300 for last night. Where do I go for the clothes? Rodeo Drive, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving this here for Kit to Luca. She's gonna pick it up. Don't open that. Uh, no, ma'am. Yeah, no. The, they, you have to worry about that there. This guy, the this guy, the he looks kind of familiar, but I can't figure out where. It'll be interesting to see what clothes look like when this came out. I'm thinking this is like I haven't seen cell phone. Oh, there is cell phones, okay, but they're bigger ones. If they show more cars, I can figure it out from the cars. May I help you? I'm just checking things out. How much is this? I don't think this would fit you. I didn't ask if it would fit. I asked how much it was. It's very expensive. You uptight freaking. You're obviously in the wrong place. You guys, I swear. What pieces of... She's a woman trying to buy clothes. Do you not sell clothes for women? I hate people like that. There's many stories with car dealerships that, you know, you do not perceive someone as not having the money to buy a car. You'd be amazed how much money a farmer can make in a good harvest, over a million dollars. They want to come in and buy a new truck that's 60, 70 grand. They might be in overalls. You're a guest here? I'm with a friend. He knows me. She's with Mr. Lewis. That's it. Edward Lewis. Why is with everybody today? Don't be so loud. The things that go on in other hotels don't happen at the Regent Beverly Wilshire. Lewis, however, is a very special customer, and we like to think of our special customers as friends. Uh-huh. Now, I'm assuming that you're a relative? Uh-huh. Yes. Niece? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Okay, I have to buy a dress for dinner tonight, and nobody will help me. Oh, man, if you were calling the cops. Is he going to help her? Women's clothing. <sighs> <laughs> Watch that hanky. I'm sending someone over. Her name is Vivian. She's the niece of a very special guest. That was nice. Old man Morse just got the inside track on a $350 million contract to build destroyers for the Navy. Oh! I thought you said they had nothing in the hopper on this one. Who do we know on the Senate Appropriations Committee? Start making phone calls. Who, who, who is this girl you're going with? Nobody you know. None of your business. Stay out of it. Don't know. I'm sure we're going to find something here that your uncle will love. He's not really my uncle. They never are, dear. Oh, <laughs> they never are. This happens all the time. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but Bridget was really great, and I just wanted to say thanks. You're welcome, Miss Vivian. Is Vivian her real name? Hello. Never, ever pick up the phone. Why are you calling me? I'll be in the hotel lobby, 745 Sharp. Where are you taking me, anyway? I'm taking you to a restaurant called the Voltaire. Get her back for me, please. Hello? I told you not to pick up the phone. <laughs> Just a reminder that I'm offering a seven-day free trial to new Patreons. That is where you can find all my full reactions and this exclusive content. I've got a little problem. All right, Miss Vivian, what? one more time. Oh! Dinner napkin. Ah. Dinner napkin. <laughs> she has to prepare for the meal. Don't slouch. Salad fork. Dinner fork. It's nice that he's taking time out of his day to walk through this with her. He could have given this to another person. Where, where do they teach this? 
I didn't get this in my schooling. She's waiting for you in the lounge. All right, let's see this dress. Look at that. Oh, she's lovely. A little romance brewing, maybe? You're late. You're stunning. You're forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Fireball. It's the, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the Duke Brothers. From Trading Places. Shall I order for you? Yeah. Please do so. Thank you. Yeah, having to change our patterns. This is not, uh... Yeah. Between your public statements and the rumor. I don't know about you, but I've never been able to figure which goes with what. <laughs> there you go. It's a little sandwich. <laughs> Just grab and go. You know, there was a time when we built ships the size of cities. Ugh. For snails. It's a delicacy. Try it. What do you plan to do with the company? Break it up and sell off the pieces? Leave my company alone. I can't do that. Yeah. I own 10 million shares. I'll buy your stock back. You don't have the money. The contract is now buried in appropriations committee and it will remain there. And how the hell do you pull something like that? What do you got? Uh -huh. you got politicians in your pockets now or something? Yes, he does. You bet. Watch out, Lewis. I'm going to tear you apart. I look forward to it, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to that. That's not the first time someone's had a, a discussion like that with him. Didn't say much in the car on the way home. Problem <clears> is. I think you like Mr. Morse. I will not let myself become emotionally involved in business. Don't get emotional when you turn tricks. That's why no kissing. It's too personal. Oh. When I'm with a guy, I'm like a robot. I just do it. Oh, thanks. I mean... Not with you, with you, yeah. Of course. Yeah, so. sure. Of course. You and I are such similar creatures, Vivian. We both screw people for money. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your dad. I hadn't spoken to him in 14 and a half years. Oh my god. Do you want to talk about this? No. Let's watch old movies all night. We'll just veg out in front of the TV. I'll be back. We'll do broccoli tomorrow. Three o'clock in the morning? Guy that was here? Mr. Lewis, have you seen him down there anywhere? The guy that was here? Oh, wow. <clears throat> he can play piano very well. Sometimes I would love to know how to play piano. Thank you. I was getting lonely upstairs all by myself. Gentlemen. Everybody out. People always do what you tell them to do. He asked very nicely. I guess so. You won't let him kiss her. Yeah. He's frustrated with his life. And I think his father's death is weighing on him. If you have any trouble using this card, have him call the hotel. I'm surprised you didn't buy more than one dress yesterday. It wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. Why not? They were mean to me. Oh. Get rid of your gum. Oh. <laughs> She's a little rough around the edges. I am. You see this young lady over here? Do you have anything in this shop as beautiful as she is? Oh, yes. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. No, yeah, no. We're going to need a few more people helping us out. I'll tell you why. We're going to be spending an obscene amount of money in here. Mary Pat, Mary Kate, Mary Frances, Tova, let's see it. Come on. Bring it up. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. In the amount of money were you talking about? Just profane or really offensive? Really offensive. I like him so Offensive. Much. <laughs> he likes him. <laughs> I think we need some major sucking up. Very well, sir. You're... Yeah. Not only handsome, but a powerful man. I guess. Ah! The second you walked in here, you were someone to reckon with. Oh, not me. Her. He wants her to have all the attention that she's never had before. She has my card. And we'll help her use it, sir. Yeah, we'll help her use it. That's a fun one. I like that dress. Very conservative, yeah. That one's not bad. Oh, there you go. Get some undergarments. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful she is. I like these designs. I can see this today. Uh, the shoulder pads are a little much. I don't see the shoulder pads being a thing, but. Do you remember me? No, I'm sorry. I was in here yesterday. You wouldn't wait on me? You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Big. I have to go shopping. Oh! <laughs> Shoved it back in her face. Yeah, that makes him happy that she's got all this nice stuff. You were right about more. 
course. He mortgaged everything he owns right down to his underwear to secure him. So it goes without saying that your business means a lot more to them than our friend Mr. Moore. See, I hate that aspect. Just call a bank and say, Edward, oh, don't me, give them that loan because we're more important than you are. You know what I used to love when I was a kid, Phil? Legos? Blocks. Legos. We don't build anything, Phil. We don't make anything. Oh! She got in his head! Morse's jugular is exposed. Call the bank. How was your day, dear? Nice tie. She thought you'd like it. Yeah, she got it for you. My father was president of the third company I ever took over. Oh, interesting. I sold it off piece by piece. What'd the shrink say? Said it was cured. <laughs> Did I mention my leg is 44 inches? We're talking about 88 inches. Of therapy. Yeah, therapy. <laughs> That's a fun therapy there. What if someone recognizes me? <laughs> not likely. They're not going to recognize you. So you're the flavor of the month. Everybody is trying to land him. Well, I'm not trying to land him. I'm just using him for sex. No! <laughs> it's always a pleasure meeting one of Edward's girls. One of his girls. Are these people your friends? I spend time with them. Yeah. Well, no wonder. I wonder what. I wonder why you came looking for me. Yeah. Ha! Ah, she doesn't like him very much. You I like this hat. It's new. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I was asking for directions. There she was. You told him the story? So what does she do? Does she, does she work? She's in sales. Sales? That's terrific. That's... We didn't tell her, him the whole story. Yeah, I see some differences in you this week, like the tie. Wondering if maybe this girl isn't the difference. Especially when I see her talking to David Morse. I introduced them at dinner the other night. Well, now she's talking to a guy whose company we're trying to buy. That's a little convenient. Oh, jeez. He thinks it's espionage. She's not a spy. She is a hooker. Oh, he told her. I picked her up in Hollywood Boulevard. Yes. Oh, you are. Yes. You know, you're the only millionaire I ever heard of who goes looking for a bargain basement streetwalker. This was a mistake. Must be quite a change from Hollywood Boulevard. Hmm? Oh, ugh. what a dick. <laughs> Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. You and I could get together uh, sometime after. What a leave. piece of crap. She's not going to be happy with him. She's going to be pissed. If you were going to tell everybody I'm a hooker, why didn't you just let I me wear not, my own clothes? I did not, okay? Very sorry. I'm not happy with Stucky at all for saying that or doing that. Yes. You know, you think you can just pass me around to your friends? I'm not some little toy. I hate to point out the obvious, but you are, in fact, a hooker. You don't own me. I decide, okay? I say who... I said I was sorry. I meant it. That's the end of it. I'm sorry I ever met you. Oh, no. I've never had anyone make me feel as cheap as you did today. I want my money. I want to get out of here. Oh, man. Shouldn't have told him. You opened your mouth. And he's a piece of crap. He's got the money. She didn't take the money. I wasn't prepared to answer questions about us. We stay the week. Why? I saw you talking to David Morris. I didn't like it. Oh, he was jealous. Oh, she said no. You hurt me. Yeah. Don't do it again. He needs to bitch out his lawyer. First guy I ever loved was total nothing. My mom called me a bum magnet. There was a bum within a 50 mile radius. I was completely attracted to him. That's how I ended up here. So here I was, no money, no friends, no bum. I worked at a couple fast food places. I was too ashamed to go home. That's when I met Kit. That's how it happens. You could be so much more. There you go. You can be. People put you down enough, you start to believe it. This is, yes. I thank you are a very bright, very special woman. Bad stuff is easier to believe. True. Hey, Edward, you can't disappear now. We're in this too deep. Don't, Don't panic, Philip. Where are you going? I have a date. With the hooker? Oh, my God. He needs Be careful, to... Philip. Yeah. Cannot believe he said that out in the open. Wow. That's a dress. Something's missing. I don't want you to get too excited. He's only on loan. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They really let you borrow this from the jewelry store? Wow. I'm a very good customer. A quarter of a million. <laughs> <laughs> a quarter of a million dollars. Are you serious? And it's this really was in don't... the 90s? It's a surprise. If I forget to tell you later, I had a really good time tonight. 
Oh, <laughs> she's sweet. When you're not fidgeting, you look very beautiful and very tall. And very tall. <laughs> you're the right height for her. You're about the same height. We're going to the airport. Yeah. Where are we going? The weather's clear all the way up to San Francisco. We should be there in about 50 minutes. Okay. They're just going up to San Francisco. You said this is in Italian. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to know what they're saying? Oh, it's an opera. You'll understand. The music's very powerful. There's a band. <laughs> She's like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> Dramatic. Either love it or they hate it. They may learn to appreciate it, but it will never become part of their soul. Oh, I don't think I've ever been to an opera. Is she enjoying it? Has he seen it before? Oh, he's crying. Oh, it was so good. I almost peed my pants. She said she liked it better than Pirates of Penzance. Ah. She, I'm gonna beat her pants. Why don't you not go to work tomorrow? Me not work? I do own the company. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. He said he's taking the day off. Oh. I was talking to someone. Not anymore, you're not. You're done. Oh, Shakespeare quotations. Oh, what a lovely little day. Did he enjoy his day? He sleeps. There are people, high-functioning people, that are able to do this. I am not one of those people. I need my rest. They're like my uncle. I think he sleeps for like four hours a night. He's just, a, you know, three, four hours. He's good. I can't do it. Oh. Kiss on the lips. Yeah. She's falling in love with him. I think there's some love there, for sure, between the two of them. And she's happy. I love you. Oh! What are you thinking about sitting here all by yourself? The fact that this will be our last night together. Well, you've been pretty tough to take. She just told you she loves you. I'd really like to see you again. I've arranged for you to have an apartment, have a car. You can leave some money by the bed when you pass through town. Oh. Vivian, it really wouldn't be like that. How would it be? Well, for one thing, it would get you off the streets. What does she want? When I was a little girl, my mama used to lock me in the attic when I was bad, which was pretty often. Really? I would pretend I was a princess trapped in the tower by a wicked queen, and he would climb up the tower and rescue me. But never and yeah. all the time did the knight say to me, come on, baby, I'll put you up in a great condo. Well, I don't... Yes. I mean, that's just the first step. His nuts are on the block. We got him. No, it's no good. If he's really caving in, I don't want to wait till this afternoon. I heard everything he said. This is all I'm capable of right now. It's a very big step for me. It's a really good offer for a girl like me. Oh. I've never treated you like a prostitute. You just did. 50 bucks, Grandpa, for 75 the wife can watch. <laughs> <laughs> You clean up real nice. But it's easy to clean up when you got money. Yeah. When does he leave? Tomorrow. Edward asked me if I wanted to see him again, but I think, I think definitely no. I mean, it's just another week, right? Yeah, huh? Exactly. Why? You fell in love with him. No, Kit, please. Oh, did you kiss him yeah. on the mouth? Uh, yeah. I'm not in love with him. I just, I like him. I've reconsidered my position on your acquisition offer. Gentlemen, I'd like to speak to Mr. Morse alone. Oh. You too, Phil. Oh. My interests in your company have changed. Oh. I no longer wish to buy your company and take it apart. So I find myself in unfamiliar territory. What about our Navy contracts? Just delayed. I bluffed a little bit. <laughs> You're very good at it. I think we can leave the details up to the others. I find this hard to say without sounding condescending, but I'm proud of you. They're gonna build ships together. Let's continue the meeting. It's all yours, Phil. Finish it up. Yeah, they're gonna build some ships. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Just stay here for a while. I'll be back. He's changing his life a little bit. 
Is she going to be one of the changes? Yeah, he's walking in the grass. I'm looking for Edward. Edward will be back soon. Any minute, he'll be home. This is not home. This is uh, a hotel. It's a figure of speech. Right now, I'm just freaking out. Yeah, I just, I got the cake. Oh, my oh, God. Me. There you go. Take that. Come on, come on. What? He hit her. Dollar horror, baby. What are you oh, doing? Oh, good. Edward's there. Poor man. She's a goddamn god. Oh, he deserved it. It's the kill you loved, not me. I made you a very rich man doing exactly what you loved. Now get out of here. Fire him. I heard about what you did with Morris. Oh, good, it was yeah. a business decision. It felt good. I gotta get going. Why are you leaving now? You made me a really nice offer. Now everything is different, and you changed that, and you can't change back. I want more. I want the fairy tale. My special gift is impossible relationships. I had a good time. And this the end? This is how we end it? What about all your hats? Stay. Well, not because I'm paying you, but because you want to. I can't. Goodbye. I think you have a lot of special gifts. You gonna let her go? I wanted to say goodbye. Well, then I gather you're not accompanying Mr. Lewis to New York. Come on, Barney. You and me live in the real world most of the time. Please take Miss Vivian anywhere she wishes to go. Uh, second thoughts. She was checking to see if he was yelling for her. Why not take his offer? Like, it's a step. San Francisco's not that great, you know. She's gonna move? Sure you won't come with me? And leave all this? Not in a million. Come here. Whoa! Whoa, what is this? We think you got a lot of potential, Kit Luca. You do? Everybody has a lot of potential. Everybody Don't let anybody does. tell you different, okay? Take care of you. Whoa. <laughs> you don't have any messages for me, do you? No, I'm afraid not, sir. He, he was hoping she would change her mind. One last thing. If yes. you could possibly return this to Fred's for me, please. May I, sir? It must be difficult to let go of something so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> subtle. You gotta have a goal. Do you have a goal? Well, I always wanted. There's Kit right there. Is he coming for her? Vivian! Princess Vivian! Come down! Princess Vivian! <laughs> yeah, he's so nervous. So, what happened after? Climbed up the tower and rescued her. She rescues him right back. Yeah. Yay! Welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Yeah, what's your dream? Right. Always time to dream, so keep on dreaming. That's right. Keep on dreaming. Yay! Let's talk about it. That was Pretty Woman, and it was the Patreon poll pick for movies that made actors famous. The problem is I don't know who this made famous. <laughs> I'm assuming it was Julia Roberts, but I don't know, because I think she was younger in uh, the other movie I've seen her in, which was Steel Magnolias, because she was really young in that. She was younger than this. So, did Steel Magnolias make her famous, or did this make her famous? I don't know. And then, the other guy, uh, Richard something or other, he, uh, I've, I've never seen him in anything, so this is the first thing I've seen him in. Uh, so I don't know if he was already famous. He's an older gentleman. I mean, older than her, by far. Probably, I don't know, I'd put her in her 20s, mid-20s, and i put him in his mid-30s. Maybe even 40? He was mid to upper 30s. So, and those were the two main people. Maybe it was Kit, her roommate. I've never seen her before. Maybe it was the hotel manager guy. He looks familiar to me, but I don't think I've seen him in anything before, so I don't know. Uh, it was really good, a positive message in this film. I um, really appreciated the whole, you know, the the what's your dream guy, 
make your dream possible. And then him telling her that she has great potential, which all of you do. You have so much potential. Humans are insane when it comes to potential. Just crazy. Put them in the right like place in their life, in their mind, in society, geographically, and they succeed beyond anyone's imaginable dreams. Right? It's just we're put into these situations and we're put with these people that drag us down. And she said in the film, like, the bad stuff is easier to, to you know, think is true. It, You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your friends and your relatives, your partner, your kids. You have to believe in them and you succeed in life. You really do. Everyone is capable of everything. It's just frame of mind, the place you are in life. I'm telling you, you, I tell them every, every, every single reaction, you are awesome. And I just, I hope you all believe it because it's true. It really is true. Um, thank you so much to all of you for subscribing and liking to the channel. Don't forget about my second channel and um, awesome mo awesome shows. Sorry, you can, you can, it's linked below. You can just one word in YouTube, awesome shows. But uh, thanks to my Patreons. You know, you guys are really, really helping the channel and picking these movies for me. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I hated the lawyer guy. What a piece of crap he was, right? I I remember him as the, in Friends, he was the toner ink guy. And he kept like, you know, saying that he was going to die. And nobody cared about him. And nobody did. They Nobody cared about him in the office. It was really fun. It was funny. It was funny, but uh, it was a good episode with Phoebe. But yeah, believe in yourself, believe in others. So we are such a better species when we believe in each other. Less hate, more love, please. Too much hate in our world. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching and subscribing and liking. And of course, never forget that you are awesome. Thank you so much. Bye.